Physicists capture rare illusion of an object moving 99% the speed of light. Physicists have created for the very first time an optical illusion called the Terrell Penrose effect. The illusion captured by using these ultra fast laser pulses and special cameras goes against Einstein's theory of special relativity. There's an aspect of special relativity that states a fast moving object will appear shortened moving in the direction of the object's motion. This is the phenomenon called the Lorentz contraction. This idea was proposed by physicist George Fitzgerald in the year 1889. It was further developed by Hendrik Lorentz uh, shortly after. This theory, it would later be indirectly confirmed during the CERN muon storage ring experiment. Now, in the year 1959, two men came around named Roger Penrose, who was a mathematician, and James Terrell, who was a physicist, and they did not agree with the Lorentz contradiction theory. They didn't believe that the object would appear shortened, rather the object would appear rotated. They thought this due to the fact that light from different parts of the object would hit the camera at different times. So now how exactly did they create this illusion? This was done using, like I mentioned before, ultra-fast uh, laser pulses and gated cameras. And they, they took a sphere moving at the speed of light, I put moving in quotes because, as we know, um, Einstein's theory of special relativity states uh, a, a object's relativistic mass or its effective mass increases as the speed increases. Um, and scientists uh, at this particular time in history do not have the, the capability to send an object uh, at the speed of light because it just takes far too much energy to do that. So there must be a simulation or a substitution or something of that nature. So instead what they did was they mimicked the visual effects of the speed of light and they used a cube that was three feet on each side. So what they did was they took that cube and they shot incredibly fast laser pulses at it. So fast that the, the laser pulses were only 300 picoseconds long. That's roughly a tenth of a billionth of a second. So let me put that a little bit into perspective. Because I didn't even understand that at first reading it. So I had to dig a little bit deeper to understand really just how fast that is. So a picosecond is to a second what one second is to get this. 31,688 years. So that just goes to show how fast these lasers are moving. That's pretty fast. So after the lasers fired, there's a gated camera that... Uh, captures the reflecting, the light reflecting off this cube. After each capture, they move the cube 1.9 inches, and that's just simulating um, in that time how much that, that cube would have moved um, at 80% the speed of light. They repeated this process, uh, but instead of a cube, they used a sphere, and they moved at 2.4 inches each time because uh, in between pulses, uh, that's how fast, or that's the distance it would move um, at 99% the speed of light. So now they took all these um, captures and they call they call them slices on the article that I read. Um, and when they combined all of it, the the cube seemed to be rotated and the sphere kind of gave an oval shape. Here's what the picture looks like. So basically, because all these rotations and these differences are merely an optical illusion, they're just geometry. They're just a a visual effect. They don't actually contradict Lawrence contraction theory. Um, so, you know, I read that whole article all interested, and at the end of the day, it really doesn't change much. It was pretty cool, though. So that's going to conclude today's video. Hope you uh, learned something. Uh, I learned a little bit something reading that article, and I was uh, felt the urge to relay it to the public. So I try to make these videos short, so they're just little snapshots of, uh, of information, science, history, whatever I'm interested in, and maybe it could... Uh, make the public around me just a little bit smarter and myself a little bit smarter. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.